Hello, my name is Gabriel Wilkom. Today is the 4th of A August 2013. This video is about the Trextor Pius e-reader, also called e-reader for ink, Atalia. I bought this model, Atalia, in uh, their store at Alexanderplatz in Berlin, the 22nd of March this year. I had some problem with this unit after after transferring a DRM book to it and that made it crash. I had it replaced uh, and got exchanged model at the 17th of May this year. As you can see on this model also. Uh, but uh, when I got it I immediately updated its firmware to the latest uh, version and uh, after that I tried again foolishly to transfer a DRM file uh, I think it was the book about bought Talia which is DRM protected and I got this issue then uh, that when I tried to turn it on with the power button here I got this result uh, from Mississippi to Mississippi. Flash and nothing. Yes. Uh, the suggestion on the website for the frequently asked question is that I do a reset on this model. Uh, it's done by holding in the power button for 8 seconds or 8 Mississippi. So let's do that. The power button you hold in. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, 8 Mississippi. And release. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, and then you hold in the power button for 2 Mississippi. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, and release. It does not work. Uh, you get this wallpaper saying a trick store and you're now. Sadly, cannot do that. Okay. Uh, without doing that, you try to connect it to the to the computer and see if you can do that. That unfortunately does not work because for some reason you can't boot it with. You just got a flash. Flash again, flash. And this goes on and on. It does not connect to the computer. At best I can hear beep, but then it just crashes again. So it does not work. Uh, I can show it with this Trextor Pyrus Mini. I bought yeah, uh, maybe I should not go to <coughs> electronic store when I'm on vacation, Be buy some and things. Uh, this is the Pyrus Mini, uh, as you can see, I have some books on it, works very well, I like it, very handy. Connect it to the computer, it blips, and I got some problem. But uh, that's a later matter. As you can see, you have this sign for USB that I want to see but can't on my other track store. And also, if you take a look at my screen here, it says Digital Edition and eBooks. Digital Edition comes from uh, when I started the Adobe Digital Edition program for transferring books as recommended by track store and Thalia. The second is ebooks uh, created when I use the Trekstore e-reader suit. Uh, let's just take a while to look at it. See if you can get a picture of that. You also see drive info Calibri. Calibri is another software. It's an open source software for handle ebooks. That software works very well. Let's see. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, uh, now I have 
couple of other ebook reader. I have the iRiver Story HD. Works very well, but not my favorite. I have also the old model of a book in Cyborg Generation 3. What I like with this model is that when uh, the system crash, like it's done on my check store, you can reset it with the f factory settings via a SD card. As you pop it in here, uh, here at the bottom, uh, at the top of the unit, and doing a manual override and transferring all the system files to it. No, I can't do that on the check store. It does not work. I can't ac access it. It's just blinking and doing nothing. So, I would like to know what I can do in order to make it work, or preferably have another unit. But, let me show what happens when I remove the cable. It blinks, and you get this uh, loading icon. Takes one minute, two minutes. It's updating the memory and, yeah shuffle around the bookcase, so to speak. And back. So, that's what I want. It, my check store did that. Uh, this loading icon, and then it broke. It closed and did not respond anymore. I suspect it's something with the digital edition that um, for some reason, the system is looking for the booting file in the wrong folder, but it does not find the boot and cannot continue with the booting sequence. And it's just looping, it and I can't do anything about it as I can with the book in uh, manual override. So, uh, I hope I can get some technical information on how to access the root file and manually override the system or maybe an exchange unit. But that is for you at Trek Store to decide. I hope I can work with you to solve this question because this is my favorite book reader. I like it very much. It's good in my hand. It's a big display for me to read on. Good buttons. I like the interface. Many reviewers calling it a bit dull. Um, uh, some pointing out that it does not have Wi-Fi, like the iRiver story, like this model. For me, it's just a plus. It's a plain e-book reader. It does what it does. And I like it. Therefore, I hope I can get it working again. With that, that's my conclusion. Thank you for watching.